Hey guys, let's touch down Kumasi. I have heard so much about the Lake Bosomche. If I don't get that pronunciation correctly, you understand, okay? I have heard so much about this lake and I have made like two attempts to visit and then finally this one is coming to fruition and i am so excited so if you have not liked the video kindly give it a like if you have not subscribed kindly hit the subscription button turn on the bell and put it on the underseas all so that anytime i drop a video you'll be notified i have an exclusive video that will be coming up very soon as soon as possible from the lake i mean exclusive to the lake the boat cruise but in this one i just want to show you guys how the road looks like unedited clips to the lake from kumasi so this is what it looks like i just want you guys to have an insight for me before coming here of course i did my research but all the videos i could find i couldn't um stumble on a video that showed me this road like this to the lake so on getting there it was a teen of surprise when i saw it i didn't know this is what it looks like to the point because i didn't even have the front seat so i had to get down to the lake come back again take a taxi you know chatter a taxi that took only me so i get to show you guys the road because i didn't know this is what it looks like over here another reason is so you you can travel to this place if your budget is not that big you can come here on a tight budget and you'll be able to manage the reason for my not coming here since last year uh because one of them was the budget i felt like it was not going to be enough what i had little did i know that i can do this on a very moderate simple budget because here there is everything for everyone of course if you want it high they have it if you want it moderate they have it if you want to manage to they have it and that is why i'm coming here to show you guys and i hope to do this exclusively like try to break down the details of how much you are expected to come here with and not be stranded though you may not have it all going like top top notch but you can have something that you will be proud about that you came like the hotels ranking from i'm going to do a room tour but not in this video i want to keep my videos as um simple as possible but you can get a hotel here from 200 cities and uh, you can get a very good hotel here for 350 cities when i say very good i mean the one that you'll be so proud of and you will want the whole world to see okay for me i opt for the one of 200 cities because yeah that is what i can afford for now and of course for the boat cruise depends on the part of the lake you are visiting depends on the community for me I am going to the first community. This place is called Obono. So, and the people are here to welcome you, all hand on decks to help. I was really uncomfortable when I got here because there were so many people coming to give a helping hand, coming to give their suggestion. I felt uncomfortable. So, but just with time, I got to know they meant no harm. They were all here for, this is a business center for a lot of young people. So by the time it was evening, I didn't see a single soul at the beach. I mean, at the lake. So we are heading to a lake that is very natural. This is not the man-made lake that you may have seen in some of my videos or other videos or the ones you know close to you. This lake was made naturally millions of years ago. Up until now, scientists have not been able to ascertain how the lake came about. A lot of people are still doing research. A lot of countries are still doing research about this lake how the lake formed you know on top of a mountain like in the middle of mountains you know for a lake to be you know in the middle and then there are mountains surrounding it 100 percent there's no single space to soak okay oh this one i'm gonna use this road this one is doesn't have a, a mountain on it everywhere 
you know, regarding to this lake has a mountain surrounding, surrounding it. And there are communities living on the, between the lake, there are communities living between the lake and the mountain. This is one place that I have no single regret visiting. So with about how much you can visit here because from Accra, if you're coming from Accra though, where I am coming from, Accra I paid 80 cities. That is from Seko to Kumasi. From Kumasi where the vehicle stopped me, I paid 22 cities to another community. And then from there, that's to another town. Then from that town, I paid six cities. That is if you're going to do the public transport, the public um, transportation service. If you want like the private taxis, they have it. So because I use the public general transport, so that is why I'm telling you six cities to the lake all the way. So you can calculate how much that is. And then the hotel, I paid 200 cities for a night. And the foods around here, it is so cheap. I'm not going to lie. And um, for me, at night, I had food. I'm going to show you guys in this video. And you're not going to believe how much it cost me. So after about a while, we drove down to the final stop. I was searching for hotels because I needed to go around, you know, look for some that I could find online, the numbers were not connecting, so I needed to go around, ask questions until I finally found one that suits my budget. So I'm settling for this. First thing first, I wanted to understand my environment after going around to source for where to sleep, and then I couldn't get the one that uh, suits my budget. After finally finding the one that suits my budget, I needed to settle first you know settle get to know my surrounding because i was right there at the window looking down and i was really concerned about my safety because i was seeing so many people but they assured me that i was 100 percent safe at the end of the day they were correct i was so safe and i was so well treated by the locals the people here are very friendly people are ready to go there you know extra might to give you a helping hand especially if you don't mind so for me and um, another thing is if you are a foreigner like me don't worry they speak english over here as well the people here speaks English. Anyone that cannot, you see them make effort to want you to understand what they are saying and also to understand what you are saying. This is one of those places I highly recommend you visit. In my next video, I'm going to show you guys how the lake itself looks like. And then after settling, just getting to know, you know, doing my dinner and doing research about the lake asking questions and um a lot of i just wanted to bond with the locals so i get to know more about this part of ghana and what makes them tick and why the lake is so popular and very very you know beautiful as it is so yeah settling and i was so well welcomed by everyone when you come here, you see little children running towards you. They want to tell you the history of the lake. Okay, everybody seems to know the history of the lake. All right, so guys, don't go nowhere, okay? All you hold me is a subscription button. Hit the subscription button and a like. And a like and comment. Hold on, share the video and wait for subsequent videos okay i think i forgot to tell you guys how much i spent on my food. The food cost me 15 Ghana cities so that's about a dollar and a few cents yo that is all i have to tell you today okay so i'll see you tomorrow in my next one i love you thank you bye Zurück nach Haus, ja. Yeah. Lass uns den Schritt nach vorne gehen, zusammen in die richtige Richtung drehen. Ich fühle dich sicher von Ost nach West.